Legends of Sherwood, The Rise of Robin Hood. My name is Tom Scarlet. I am the son of Will Scarlet and Ma Lindsay. And this is my journal. June 15th in the year of our Lord 1191. It's been over a year since King Richard left for the Holy Land. In that time we have been taxed by the Sheriff of Nottingham who leaves us with barely enough to live on. Today, a man named Robin Hood passed through our village, dressed in green and accompanied by a band of outlaws. They were the talk of the town, for they steal from the rich and gave to the poor. Robin Hood, a master archer, displayed his skill by shooting an arrow through the center of an apple place on a man's head. July 3rd in the year of our Lord 1191, Robin Hood and his merry men returned, this time to challenge the oppressive Sheriff of Nottingham. They ambushed the tax collection, returning the money to those who could barely afford bread. It's said that Robin's hideout is deep within Sherwood Forest, a place where he can't easily be found. August 12th, in the year of our Lord 1191, the tales of Robin Hood's kindness spread like wildfire. He helped a poor widow whose land was seized by the greedy Prince John. With his quick wit and charm, he outsmarted the noble who sought to capture him. The common folk loved him for his courage and daring acts. The sheriff's men tried to capture him today, but the crowd gathered around him and aided his escape. It is rumored that the sheriff was in a such a rage that he cried September 5th in the year of our Lord, 1191. It is said that Robin Hood's legendary deeds have become folklore. His story lives on in songs and poems. He remains a symbol of hope for the downtrodden, a reminder that even in the harshest of times, there are those who stand up for justice and the common good. As I pen these words, I can only hope that the tales of Robin Hood and his band of merry men will continue to inspire generations to come. For now, I will keep writing about his deeds so that everyone will know his legend. My dad told me that someone once told him that a legend can fade into myth and be lost in the annals of time. I'm not sure what that really means, but I know that Robin Hood is as real today as any man is and his name will live on as will his deeds. Tom Scarlet, December 25th in the year of our Lord, 1191.